Hi guys, I'm here to share several journals with you. Um, this is a vintage greeting card collection that I have completed and I've made three smaller um, pastel pleasures junk journals here. They measure around six and a half by approximately four and a half. Um, and I will share those. And then I have five fully decorated larger ones that measure uh, just over seven and a half by this one's well, about five and a half or give or take a little bit. Um, when I made these, I, you know, I rounded some of the corners and I left some square and trimmed some and didn't need to trim some. So they all vary by just a few like little sliver possibly, but that's an approximation. So I have five fully decorated. And then this time I'm going to list three journals that are fully naked. So, I mean, I decorated the outside of the journal, um, but all the inside pages are empty. So they will be at a more affordable price and um, you can use your own ephemera and do your own style and everything with these. So there will be three of these available. So I think I will start with the larger journals. And so I'll do those five, then I'll do the three smaller ones, and then I'll kind of show you a quick flip of the naked journals. So if you want to fast forward or whatnot, this might be a little bit longer of a video because I have so many to flip through, but we will get started and I will be as efficient as I possibly can. So this one is a really cute little girl on a carousel. These are sunshine, a sunshine card brand. These are coronation. So they're all, oh, okay. So the other big ones are this coronation collection from the coronation collection. And this one is um, a sunshine card. So that's the brand. And this one is really cute. This one went perfect with the Maggie Holmes carousel paper collection. Um, for these, this, the binding is not in the, um, actual greeting card itself. I did separate it and use fabric so that, um, as you're opening and closing it and stuffing it and building it, I just don't feel comfortable with the, the binding and the spine being in the paper. So I did put it in fabric. Um, on the front cover, I've got a tuck of a vintage greeting card, a fabric tag. This is some fabric here with some fabric hearts and then just some scrapbook paper you can use as background or as a journaling card. You can decorate that yourself. There's some trim along the inside cover. Another tuck spot here. This is another vintage greeting card and some really pretty stationary paper with some trim on the side. Some stickers and rickrack journaling spots. This is a vintage sewing pattern lady that I fussy cut out. A little pocket here, an old envelope. This one's from um, February 1940. floral book pages and then I used another book page that I had and I think this was a book page maybe from another greeting card made into a little pocket here and then I just have some stationery tucked in there for you to journal on and I did some collaging here on a guest check to make a pocket or a little tuck spot this is from a vintage magazine and you got some journaling spots here. This background is um, wrapping paper. So a little vintage recipe card that you don't have to put a recipe on this. You could of course just journal on it. Um, this is a really pretty envelope and just a cut apart from the paper pack. I collage some stickers down here. Some writing paper and trim, some pink paper. I did some washi and some trim along the side. For the sewing pattern ladies, a lot of them I just clipped in because you can use them as you're working in the journal and place them where you like. But I went ahead and fussy cut them out for you and just to carefully clip them in there. And this is just a little chipboard sticker. 
And another pocket. This is the center of the signature. And the little CD case that I just did a little bit of collaging on. And there's a gardening card in there. This is, I, I took a bunch of little tiny scraps of fabric and put them on, sewed them onto some um, receipt paper. And then I was able to just cut them and use them as tabs or little tucks throughout all, this, all these collections. Another little sewing pattern lady. This is some fabric collage pocket. Little Rolodex cards with washi tape. This is just a scrap of paper tag and some more um, wrapping paper on the background there. This is a vintage playing card and a Project Life card and a vintage, vintage postcard. Another pocket here. This is a really cool vintage cream label. Another tuck spot with a playing card. So this is where I used that um, patched little pieces of fabric that I stitched all different, you know, in boxes. Um, I used this one as a little pocket. So that's a, that was a fun thing to do to use up a lot of scraps and kind of create texture and variety. Another fabric collage pocket. There's a Project Life card, a memo sheet, and then a, a vintage strawberry card. I think that one was from Current. Vintage label, an inventory tag, and some Project Life cards and scrapbook paper back there. And that's the end of that one. So for the next five, I'll try to be a little bit quicker. Um, this is the next one. This pretty girl with her very colorful hat. This is some more fabric collage pocket and sparkly trim. These are Project Life cards, a little message memo sheet, and a vintage recipe card. And then the, the vintage postcard, a little fabric pocket here with some journaling spots. Recipe card. This time I used that patched um, fabric as the tab and some pretty daisy trim along the side here. This is a postal that. This is the other part of that fairy cream label. A vintage postcard and just a little bag you can put goodies in. Another postcard. This one's 1908. This is from a decorating magazine. This is a postalette and another fairy cream label. And some embossed paper. Um, applique here. Some of that daisy trim on some writing paper. vintage seed packet and some journaling spots. More journaling. Another sewing pattern lady. A vintage postcard. There's a recipe card, some little labels, and a vintage label here. Some journaling spots. Little butterfly applique. Postcard.
that's the end of that one. And then this one is pretty florals. Some postcards here. These are both blank. And some of that trim, I used a little tuck there. There's some pom-poms here. Oh, pocket. This is another image from the decorating magazine, or I think it was the decorating magazine. This is a vintage receipt from the 60s and another postcard. This one's 1958. Some pockets. I did some book pages. I just um, stitched around them. Added some paper, stitched around them, and put some fabric. So you can use them as journaling cards. And then there's some scrapbook paper and embossed paper behind. Journaling spots. This is some kool-aid stained this it's either kool-aid or easter egg dye i dyed a whole bunch of paper a while ago and that's from that some stamps i did a little bit of collaging on the other part of the playing card some more stained paper so it's just a card that I did some collaging on this <clears throat> um excuse me this collaged um fabric it's actually a paper it's from Tex. I bought this um she has several different colored versions and things and I love these I bought from Texas Freckles on Etsy so I use those a lot in my journals another book page journaling tag uh, fabric pocket this image is from a vintage magazine that same postcard and then this is a conditioner label, a vintage conditioner label. So these all have a pretty feminine vibe to them. Some little tickets here. Another postcard. Oops. This is from a vintage magazine. Some more pom pom trim, another pocket. This is a tuck here, and that's the end of that one. This is a jukebox, vintage jukebox label. This is a playing card and then the Simplicity. I think it's from my Simplicity catalog. I fussy cut her out. This one I fussy cut out and I did actually apply this one, but um, I just wanted to do a journaling spot on the back of this little pocket tag. This is the cutest postcard. I love this one. I love the colors and the little dog. And this is a playing card. Fabric pocket, this is Postalette. Some Project Life cards, I just kind of added some trim to that one. Um, vintage fabric pocket. Pocket. And another Postalette. Some labels, Project Life, and um, recipe cards. And this one's a double pocket and postcard. Another pattern lady and a guest check. These are tuck spots here. Um, I did more collaging on a tag. This is a vintage postcard and a candy company receipt seed packet postcard and project life card by now you're kind of seeing things repeat so i don't have too much to say they all have similar elements 
um, but they're all different. This is a tuck and then a tuck here. And did I miss something? Yeah. So I did another journaling tag here. I just used some scrapbook paper, some Kool-Aid dyed or um, Easter egg dyed paper, and then a little sewing lady and some word stickers. Okay, last of the big ones. Oh, I love this trim. This is my one of my favorite trims. It's like this puffy yarn here. So cute, so pretty. Some pom-pom trim, postcards, postalette, lots of trims, some um, postage stamps, fabric tab, that strawberry card. This is a invita was an invitation, and you just put some um, dyed paper in it to use as journaling. And a, a fabric collaged pocket. Another applique. This is um, some stitched paper on the back of a book page again. Music paper, another journaling spot. These are little tucks. And some goodies here to journal on or collage with. Altered CD case. This is from a vintage magazine. A little flower with a button. This is a printable from Amy J. Delightful on Etsy. She has really cute printable images. If you don't know of her, you should check her out. journaling card from a book page some more of that really pretty trim some scrapbook paper and that is the end of that so that is all of the larger ones and I will show you the three smaller journals now so there's this one now this one these measure about six and a half by four and a half so you can see they're a little bit smaller. Let's see if I can get them both in frame. And then this is a floating pocket with some little goodies fabric. Um, in here there's some playing cards, a Rolodex card, and a um, jukebox card. And you can journal on the back. Vintage recipe. Some more of my patchwork little fabric there that I use as a trim, recipe card, and playing card, catalog card. And the sewing lady. This is some Swiss dot fabric. This flips open. Um, orange Swiss dot fabric here. This is a tally card. And some journaling spots. Some vintage wallpaper, playing card, and a little Project Life card here. Vintage stationery, vintage wallpaper here, and some journaling spots. This one is um, pink and white polka dot, but it is not Swiss dot. It's just regular polka dot fabric. And for this journaling card, I'll point this out. This is from, I believe this is a sheet printable from Molly's Mantle. I'm pretty sure that's where this is from. Um, and I, I had found at the thrift store, I'd found a box of these Rolodex cards and I just printed them uh, double-sided so you could use them as journaling spots. I just 
thought it looked cuter than leaving them white. So if you find those, you can do that. Works out cute. And a little journaling card. And that is the end of book number one. We'll go quickly. Oh, sorry. This is number two. I apologize that this video is going to be so long. Um, lots of books to flip through. This is a fabric collage pocket. Some journaling spots. Little sewing pattern lady you can collage with. And a vintage postcard. Vintage label, vintage sewing pattern lady. This is another floating pocket. This is that Swiss dot fabric and it has two pockets. This is a church offering envelope, vintage from the 60s. And Swiss dot fabric here. Um, journal, um, playing card and journaling spots. That's the end of that one. And then this is a um, flower, you know, when you send flowers, it's a little vintage flower note card and a poppy seed packet. Another floating pocket tag, a vintage tally, and one of those conditioner, vintage conditioner labels. catalog card and some, some pattern sewing pattern ladies and journaling spots and jukebox label with vintage wallpaper seed packet postcard this one's blank recipe card some of that Swiss dot fabric playing card journaling spot and that is the end of that so I will quickly show you the three naked ones they are the larger size um, there's a single rose bouquet and the little girl with a kitten and they are um, again the spine if you can tell is in fabric this one I did close and make it a pocket there's just some the writing paper Postalette, scrapbook paper, envelope. So the same similar elements just before I decorated.
And the last one, this one's a little bit different color scheme. But all the same elements. This one has some wrapping paper here I made into a little pocket. All right, if you've made it this long, thank you for sticking with me. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, these will be in my Etsy shop, hopefully by this Friday. So um, I hope you enjoyed the flip through and maybe got some inspiration or had fun watching. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you.